Morning everyone. So today I am going to carry on with the Enchanted Forest folder. I'm going to paint, I've decided I'm just going to do some brush strokes and paint some acrylic paint on the inside cover because I'm putting a pocket on the front and the back. Um, so it'll just take that stark blackness off. I'm going to use Royal Ruby metallic paint. So first of all I'm going to do this and then I'm just going to finish those dividers as well. Uh, I think I will use a brush brush for this one. Let's have a look what we've got. I'm going to use a makeup brush, I think. I have all sorts of makeup brushes from when my daughter did <clears throat> um, media makeup. So I'm just going to do just I'm not going to worry too much about the centre bit because that's um, going to be covered with a pocket. I was going to use stenciling on this but because I'm not going to see very much of it I decided not to. So I'm just going to go around the edges. I'm trying not to paint the ring binder, but if a bit goes on there, it doesn't matter too much. I'm going to go over it with um, another colour as well, I'm not sure which yet. <clears throat> I'm also going to put together the dividers that I made the other day on this video. and. Put a little tab in between them, which I shall make as well. Um, and then on the next video, I think I'm going to make a few bits of um, jewellery, dangles, out of some broken jewellery. Ready to use. Maybe hang some off the ring binders and... the tabs <laughs> there don't want too mad with it and then I will use maybe what's this one gold this one's like we'll try this one let's put a few little dashes of that on there we we'll use the same brush let's stipple this on a bit okay it gives it a bit of a, a shimmer These uh, makeup brushes are really good for doing like a stipply look. And then on the very edge, I think I'm going to use the uh, gilding wax. And the hair on there. Uh, just to go around the edges. I've got several colours, but like I say, as I'm, I have stuff everywhere. Oh, there's loads of hairs on here now. As I've got my stuff everywhere still, 
I can't find. I've got a really nice teal and an antique gold. I have no idea where any of them are. Uh, that's that's quite nice. It just breaks up that solid colour. <clears throat> Sorry, it's banging. I've got the house to myself today, which is unheard of. My daughter's gone away for the weekend. Husband's at work. My son's at school. Dog's in his bed on the other room. house which is lovely I made all my phone calls this morning so hopefully none of the family should call the peace reigns it's lovely So I'm not too worried about the middle bits. The reason I've left those is because I'm putting pockets on. So that's how that is looking. Do you know what? I'm going to add a little bit of teal. This is my job. I can't stop once I start. It's crystal green. I'm not sure, I have a tear. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with the crystal green. Just a smidge, perhaps. Just a smidge. Why didn't you take the sponge out, Sarah? Blend that in a little bit. Okay, I like that. Make sure it's the right way up. Okay, so I'll let that dry. I shall move that out of the way. Put that to one side and just let that dry off a minute while I uh, see what it's gonna look like. Yeah, that's much better. Okay, we'll let it dry first though. So if I put that to one side and just let that dry off a little. <clears throat> so these are the two pieces I did. I attached the little bottle that I made. Uh, oh, sorry, the sun is shining on everything. I see that. So the little bottle is on there. I just put it on with a bulb pin. I'm going to make another one of these. I'll show you how you put the little loop in the cork as well. And on this one, um, I just I've done some sewing around the edges, which I'm not sure if you can see. Might pick it up. I can't tell because the sun is on everything now. And I've put some little sparkles on where the white dots were um, using 
sparkling nail varnish. It's just an old one that I had. Uh, so I just use that on those and it just highlights them up. So these are going to be stuck together, but I'm going to put a tab. I'm going to make some tabs to go in between these. And the way I'm going to do that, is I'm going to get some black card. So it's a one inch circle punch. So I'm just going to punch a piece of card. I do. Take those out of there. Now I have some really small little eyelets. I'm going to put eyelets in because I'm going to hang, dangle some little charms off these. I've got these from eBay. They're three mil antique copper eyelets and washers. I've never used them with washers before, but I did try one earlier to make sure that it went on okay, and it did. So so fiddly though. Okay, put those to one side. So with these, I'm thinking they're only going to be a small tab. They don't need to be large. I'm going to just insert just under half inside and then just have those poking out. I don't want massive tabs. It's just enough really to put a dangle on and I'll put them all down as, as we do the dividers. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I have got these metallic, I think they're watercolour paints. Uh, I bought them, oh, I think from the works if you're in the UK. Only cheap. Uh, but I tried one earlier. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. Is it showing up? I don't know. It's a metallic green on it. So I'm going to do each tab in a different colour, obviously, that goes with the journal. So this one I will do, I think in the rusty. Let's put a little bit of water in there. And let's see how these come out. It's just to give it a little bit of a a shimmer with it being in an enchanted forest. I don't know how well this is showing up. When the sun's on it, it looks really, really pretty. I need to go right to the edge because that's going to go in between. I'm just wondering if I just, I'm just going to use the dryer. coat on. That's quite nice. That is quite shiny. Let's give that another quick blast. Okay. 
So that is our little tab. That's dried nicely. So that's the little tab coloured. I don't know if you can see that. That's quite shiny actually. And then I'm going to use my crocodile to just pop a hole in there. So I want it to be roughly on the bottom section so that we can hang a little embellishment from there or I'll probably do some little more little bottles and I've got some little woodland <clears throat> charms. I might put some little wooden ones on. So I've put the, I presume this is how you do it, I've put the washer on the back. I've never used them with washers before. And pop that over there. Watch fingers and give it a really good, really good squeeze. It's locked on me. There we go. Okay, they're not too bad. That's not too bad at all. Okay, so that's our little tab. So that's going to be popped in between the... Just put those to one side because I'll do some more of those in different colours. Make that out of the way. Okay. So that's our little tab that is going to go, see there, in between the pages. And I'm going to glue those down and stick that on there. Right, there's nothing else I want to do with these now. So I'm going to use fabri -Tac and hope that these stick together. I'm just going to glue one of them. I'll do this one because it's the flattest one. So I'm going to go all around the edges. And then I'm just going to zigzag back and forth at the centre. little tab. I should have actually painted the other side as well. I'll do that but I'll do it once it's in situ now. I've got the glue on and I'm going to want that approximately there. Okay now with Fabri-Tac it does give you a little bit of leeway to line things up. You have time. tabs in there and the colour is covered. I'm just going to pinch all these edges. Now you could pop this um, could use clips or clamps to hold it together but that seems to have taken really well actually. I'm really pleased with that. Little tab secure. I'm going to slide it down a tiny bit just so I want it below that leaf. Okay, so I'm going to let that one dry and when it's dry I'll put the hole punches in and then that is our first divider that will be ready to go into the binder. Oh, I think this is dried enough now so I can also glue it in. Let's put this out of the way. Uh, pocket that I made. Just going to go there. 
I shall do another one, a different sort of one to go on to the back. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm going to glue now around the three edges. Again, I'm using Fabri-Tac for this. I am getting better at putting my stopper in my glue. <laughs> so I'm not losing quite so much now. Okay, and I'm just going to lay that down there. Okay, I'm happy with that, that is. So start the sticky fingers. <laughs> Let's lift up my leaf. Make sure I push that all down behind there. Lovely. Okay. And that is our first pocket in there. I shall leave that to go off. And then once the um, pages have gone off, I shall hold on. Let's just see. It might be all right to do now, actually. Okay, so the way I do this, I do it by eye. That's the way I did my last one. I just sit it where... I'd like it to be so approximately approximately in the middle and then I'm just going to use a pen that I can see a little line there and a little line there so that's where I want my holes to be A hole punch. I'm going to use it upside down so I can see the markings that I've put on, which are there and there. And then there we go. Now you could use, um, I don't have any at the moment and I will get some when my husband, I can't drive at the moment, I'm not allowed to drive um, due to my heart problem. Uh, so next time my husband can take me out. I'm going to get some of the um, reinforcers that you can get for the rings, for the holes, um, and I will just stain them. And then I should put those on both sides and it will just reinforce where the holes are so that it doesn't wear down and there is our first divider so what I will do also is I will I've got a load of coffee dyed paper that I've um, I did the other day a big batch of it so I'm going to fold some of those cut them in half and then I will insert some in between each divider so that is our first divider um, which I'm really happy with so Next thing I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do some of the um, dangles and some little charms to hang off different parts of this, off the tabs, maybe off some of these. Um, and I may also, I think, I'll do a fastener for this journal. Um, I usually use a chain and I think I might do that as well. I'll see what I've got. So I shall see you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this one. Bye for now.